My great aunt was a very well known painter, Shirin Bai painter, in Bombay. And uh, my aunt, who helped to bring me up, encouraged me a lot to paint because she loved painting herself. And our home was always beautiful, filled with flowers and beautiful things, and it always inspired me to paint. And we had a beautiful garden, and I love gardens and I love flowers. And that was my inspiration. I always wanted to be an artist. And when I was in the Girl Guides at the age of 15, I exhibited a jury show in the hall, and uh, Queen Elizabeth was there, and she gave me a prize. And that's when I said, aha, I arrived, I've become an artist, and I have to proceed with this. And um, then I joined JJ School of Arts and met the best professors. I had the dean of the school come over to teach me uh, portraiture at home, private lessons every Monday, two hours. It was a thrill. It was real joy. You've all know M.F. Hussain, internationally known artist. I was sitting and having a uh, limbapani with him in Samova at uh, Jangir Art Gallery in Bombay. And uh, I was just so elated that he had spent time with me. I went home, got inspired, and I did a painting. And I did a self-portrait. And then I got a call from my manager saying that Hussein has asked if he could exhibit with you in a group show. Oh, that was a highlight for me, to be able to exhibit with him. What an honor. I think it is the sunlight in Bombay that brought out the bright colors in what I was doing and bold colors. When I moved to West, I did softer colors and muted tones. I lived in Boston, by the way. I didn't know if I mentioned that to you. And that's and also to New, in New York. And uh, I went to art school in New York as well as in Boston and interior design school in Boston. And uh, I found that people anywhere in the world are the same if you can relate to them mentally, if you're in tune with them. It doesn't matter caste, color, or creed. And that's the way I found about the artwork too. If you can relate to it, it doesn't matter where it's done or who it's done by. It's just as long as you are in tune with what you're looking at. This painting was inspired in Bombay. I felt in life we came with a little bit of light and then we had to go through a lot of things in life to mature and lots of hurdles and cleanse ourselves and uh, become one with the universe. I have worked a lot with uh, emotionally disturbed people as I'm an art therapist and I studied under Edith Kramer who's the pioneer of art therapy in New York. And uh, I did practice it a lot when I was in Bombay too and uh, helps a psychoanalyst work with him hand in hand to get his patients balanced. I feel so one with Bombay. I have uh, affinity with the place where I grew up in. And uh, my husband and I went to see the Taj Mahal. And then we went to Fatipur Sikri, and on the way he said, if I shoot this ruins, will you paint it for me? And I did that and gave it to him as an anniversary gift after we came back. And that's how we still have it in our home, and it's his, it belongs to him. I feel it's very important in life that when you marry somebody, you should have the same interests. And that's what keeps you going. And if you are, you know, have the same awareness and the mental telepathy. And my husband and I have that. And he takes photographs and we go on trips together and sometimes he says, would you like to paint this for me? Or sometimes I say, could you take a photograph of that for me? And that's how, you know, I've done a lot of my paintings, even in Stanley Park, the beautiful photographs he's taken. He's a very good photographer. I haven't been able to paint for a whole year. The reason being because I suffer from carpal tunnel syndrome. And that was due to painting. And I took his hands for granted. And I used to paint five hours at a time without a break. And that's how with the repetitive movement. 
I got the carpal tunnel syndrome. And I was asked not to paint for a year, and I did not paint for a year. And I did everything what I was asked to do, and now I don't have it anymore. My grandmother sat for me for a whole week, and she was meditating while she, I was painting her. And I myself do meditate a lot before I do a painting. And that's what inspires me to paint. And, uh, but we had silence all the time while I was painting. But like my father's portrait, which I showed you earlier, which is on the wall behind me, we talked. We talked non-stop all through when I was painting him. And my father died at a very early age, 54. So it's nice for me to have his portrait. I don't know, it just makes me feel closer somehow.